Hi, I'm Dale Sparling, an Applications Engineer at NXP Semiconductors. Today, we're going to talk about our new dual USB demo using the LPC1837 Explorer board. It comes pre-programmed with a demo that shows simultaneous dual USB in action. The kit includes a quick start guide, a USB flash drive, two cables, um, USB micro on one end and USB type A on the other, a pair of earbuds, and the board has a micro SD card inserted into it. And that micro SD card includes MP3 files, the source code to the entire demo, and a few other files. This box comes pre-programmed with two demos. The first demo shows uh, two simultaneous USB device controllers operating at the same time. The second demo shows USB host and device operations over a single port, more commonly known called dual role. The LPC1837 Explorer board has two USB connectors. USB 0 has a high-speed PHY built-in, and USB 1 has a full-speed PHY, but also has a ULPI interface that allows you to connect to an external high-speed PHY. So that's two high-speed USB connections on one chip. With this demo, I'm going to show a high-speed mass storage connection and a full-speed audio connection. So I'm going to connect my Explorer board up to my PC. USB 0 is a mass storage class device. And so when I plug it into the PC's USB connector, it will enumerate as a drive. As you can see, there's the drive. And if I click on that drive, I can see a set of files here. These files are located on this SD micro card, which is a four gigabyte card. And the operating system is talking to the, the contents of this card over the USB mass storage class interface. The contents of the micro SD card includes a PDF file that shows you how to operate the demos. That PDF file is located right here, and all I have to do is double click. And this is the quick start guide that will guide you the rest of the way through the demos. Now I'm going to show dual USB device controllers in action on this board. To do that, I'm going to connect both USB connectors to my laptop. And I'm going to connect a pair of earbuds into the headphone jack on the board. The micro SD card located here contains MP3 files, which I'm going to read from this card over the USB zero connection into the laptop. And I'm going to have the laptop decode the MP3 files into normal audio. And then, the, then I'm going to play it out the audio connection over this other USB connector. When I connect the USB connector into the board, the audio device shows up in the list of playback devices. Now I'm going to play one of the MP3 files that are stored on that micro SD card. To play an MP3 file, simply select the file in the File Explorer. Double click, and Windows Media Player comes up, opens the file, and begins decoding the audio. The audio samples are sent down to the board. The USB audio connection sends the samples to the codec, and the codec plays the sound out the earbuds. This is what's happening when I'm running this demo. USB 0 enumerates as a high-speed mass storage class device, and it uses the micro SD card as a storage medium. USB 1 enumerates as a full-speed audio playback device, and it sends its samples over an I2S connection to the codec, and then from the codec out to the earbuds. It is the MP3 player that's doing the actual MP3 decoding. This demo does not do the decoding itself. So when you open a file, the MP3 player reads sectors from the MP3 file off the SD card, 
decodes them, and sends raw samples back out another USB connector. So this is showing two simultaneous USB controllers running at the same time. The second demo is going to show a dual role application running on USB 0. To show this, we're going to copy the contents of the files from the micro SD card onto the USB stick. This demo implements a file system on both the micro SD card and the USB flash stick. The application enumerates through all the files on the micro SD card and copies them one at a time over to the flash drive. This shows the USB 0 host controller in action. Notice the flashing blue LED. Each sector of data that gets copied will cause the blue LED to flash and when you see three flashes all the files have copied over. To see the files that were copied I will plug the USB flash stick into the laptop. The drive shows up here and I open that directory and I see all the files that were on the micro SD card here on the flash drive. This second demo shows an application that uses dual role switching. This button switches between host mode, which you can see whenever you're in, whenever you see the green LED, and device mode. When I, so let's plug in a USB device cable. Now watch what happens when I move from host mode to device mode. Push the button and the drive shows up in the window. If I go back to host mode, the device goes away because now it's, it's running as a host. This is a manually controlled dual role demo. This USB controller can support on the go, but this is not showing on the go functionality. This is showing dual role. The difference between the two is in dual role, I push a button to manually change between host and device. Whereas with on the go, both devices on the each side of the cable will negotiate with each other using a special protocol and decide who's going to be host and who's going to be device. This product supports both on the go and dual role. For further information on this product or any other devices from NXP Semiconductors, click on the link below. Thank you for watching.